Welcome everyone to the greatest, the best, the most legendary of legendary lords in Total War Warhammer 3 Immortal Empires. Introducing Tretch, who will conquer the world with his strategic genius that can only be rivaled by Sun Tzu. And who's Sun Tzu anyway compared to Mr. Tretch Craventhal? I do actually despise people for voting for Tretch in the poll I did on the channel. I asked people which campaign I should do next. I was hoping people would vote for Emrek or Drazif, but no, they voted for Tretch. Oh dear. Tretch is worthless. Uh, actually, genuinely the most worthless legendary lord in the game. Like Kugaf, I mean, his race is horrible, but Kugaf actually is something I would enjoy playing more than this piece of crap. But let's get on with it. Tretchy starts with two storm vermin, one assassin, and four skaven slaves, as well as a doom wheel. Oh yes, I'm sure the doom wheel is gonna be great for all the value it's gonna give me in this campaign. Might need to sell it for parts, I'd say. Let's just auto resolve this particular battle and take my silver spear. I am going to need a bit of money. Experience wouldn't be too bad, but it's kind of been gonna be pointless. Let's see, we get a Plague Priest. Hmm, do I want to unleash the Plague? Or do I want to unleash the Warlock Engineer to be able to get the new one? I think I'll start with the Plague Hero. Though if I do this initially, I will kind of screw myself, won't I? So let's just wait for that a bit. See, no one can appreciate the true genius of Tretch Caravantale. I am going to occupy and loot it at level 2. The reason I want to do that at level 2 is because I want to actually get the useful units in this particular campaign and start getting some growth as well as a chieftain. Not going to recruit anything. Oh yes, the Skaven units, the clan rats are so worthless that I'm actually just going to spend some time doing absolutely nothing in this campaign. This is my place! Hey, Skarsnik, you want, uh, you want some help? Give me a non-aggression pact. You know it's sad when you have to ally Skarsnik of every single person in the world. No joke. We are going to be doing this. Nice. Mr. Skarsnik is going to be our new best friend, gentlemen. Oh, dear. It's like the loser brigade. Clearly. Okay. I don't want to recruit anything right now. Because I want to wait two turns. I want to get clan rats with spe uh, spears and uh, shields, and I want to get chieftains. I want to I want to save my money for actually useful shit. Which, yeah, Tretch is starting units. They are not useful. I'm gonna take it a bit slow over here, and then just recruit a bunch of night runners and. Uh, night runners with slings, mainly night runners with slings. Get a full stack of that and shove it up Drazov's lovely fiery ass. That is what I'm going to do. Hopefully, before he manages, or I could strike the sentinels directly instead of trying to pull this shit off where I take the dark hold. Let him take the dark hold. It's gonna take him a while to get there. Alright, the Rattling Warner Warrens have been unlocked, and we get research. Let's get on ferocious plans. We're gonna be a ferocious legendary lord in this particular version of the game. We are going to decimate all of the enemies of Skavenkind and make an alliance with Clan Berman. Because if it's not one Skaven, it's gotta be two Skaven. Alright. Uh huh. Let's form an alliance. It could be a good amount of money, and since we are Mr. Skaven over here. Now, Drazov is obviously going to declare war on I me. Mean, the aversion he feels towards me is significant. But don't worry, we are sneaky, stabby Skaven. I may have wasted the initial war declaration against Drazov, but I don't care. The money is more important than a bunch of Vanguard deployment. Considering all the units I'm about to recruit all will have Vanguard deployment in every way imaginable. Maybe I'm playing Tretch wrong. Maybe I should just recruit a bunch of Skaven slaves and clan rats and shove them all at the Black Fortress. It would be fun getting them nuked, I suppose. 
So Forgrim has decided he is going to wipe those guys out. Yay! Let the fun begin. We are full of money, gentlemen. We are rich beyond every measure imaginable. Nine runners with slings, and we're also going to recruit every hero under the sun. We're going to get confidence, Kaven. As well as another assassin for tough. Let's get some really good fighters over here. And another chieftain. Um, magic item drop chance, always useful to get. Get driven by hunger, because we are hungry. Oh yes, we are very uh, hungry. The dance of death, and we are also going to get this. A rebellion will soon spark over here, so we might also want to get a master assassin. No joke, I think a master, a generic master assassin, is probably better than Tretch. Do I replace Tretch with the master assassin? Because the master assassin buffs the night runners and gutter runners. Yeah. What is Skarsnick doing over here? Does he just want to die? The sad part is he's probably going to be my best friend in this entire endeavor. The one true friend of Skavenkind. Until we betray him and kill him because we are playing Tretch. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Okay, we can get everyone together. It's going to be one big massive uh, party. I lose my entire army, but what do I care about that? Why should I care about that? Let's pick everyone up, join this massive festival that Tretch is organizing over here, and get everyone to work together as the true vermin should. Truthfully, that would be expensive. I would not want to lose a storm vermin unit there. I guess we are going to have to do Tretch, uh, Tretch's job for him. Yay! And then in true Skaven fashion, we will deploy everyone with Vanguard deployment. Oh, we're still in that early game situation. A Doom Wheel with Vanguard deployment. Isn't that an interesting scenario? But let's get on with it. We don't have time to waste with this crap. We do have quite a bit of casualty replenishment, so let's actually use that casualty replenishment and throw everyone into the meat grinder. I don't even care about my army, it is completely disposable. There is only one unit in this entire army that is good, and that is Mr. Trechy over there. Let's throw the Storm Vermin, the only units who can hold their own in a fight, and we're gonna get some Clan Rats soon enough. We're gonna focus those Knife Runners on the Goblin Archers, and I'm gonna call in the Clan Rats on that situation. Oh, the Skaven Slaves are getting flanked, to imagine that, they're getting flanked. Get the Doom Wheel. Unleash the Doom Wheel. Alright. Let's do this. Now the Doom Wheel is actually a bit more vulnerable. Ooh, the actually good units are getting hammered. Imagine. Call in the Clan Rats, get the Doom Wheel to go in there, and let's win this battle. Okay, Tretch, he's having the time of his life. Wouldn't you want to be Tretch right now? Well, I wouldn't. Okay, turn these Skaven slaves there. I don't necessarily care about losing all of them. I do care about losing the assassin, though. Alright, these Death Runners are gonna get hammered if I don't do anything with them. So turn them around. We're probably gonna have to send some of our lovely Storm Vermin to help out that situation. Let's pull these guys back so they don't take too much damage. And yes, we are sneaky sneaky. Alright, let's get Tretch out of this situation that he's gotten entangled himself in. And we want to get that leadership benefit. Clan rats coming in, because this is our territory, our turf. You don't want to mess with Skaven on their home ground. Where is that doing wheel? Right there. Let's try and get the flanking attack there. 
and try and m get Mr. Trachy to provide some leadership support in this situation. All right, they're holding. All right. Pendo's goblin archers into that fight. Goblin archers are not something to sneeze at, by the way. He is going to bring help. The true salvation of Skavenkind is going to be Tretch Grimmantil. He will be the one who will prevent the end times and save the universe from the plague of Thanos. I'm sorry, Archeon. Alright. More like a cheap co a copy of Archeon. Uh, of, uh, sorry, not Archeon. A cheap copy of Thanos. Oh, Tretch did exist before Thanos, or did he? Depends on how you're viewing it. I guess that's a matter of a copyright dispute between uh, Games Workshop and everyone else. Alright, we have won. The Skaven have prevailed. Imagine. Imagine the Skaven winning a fight for once. Truthfully, the Skaven almost conquered the world and then Clan Pestilent showed up and ruined everything. Clan Pestilent, the true villains of the Skaven Empire. Ruined. Wow. Wow. I know what happened there. Okay, let's get these guys in. Oh, that's not exactly what I had in mind <laughs> right there. All right, they're all breaking. Leave none alive. <laughs> none will be left. Where's... What? Okay. Try and kill him. And someone more clan rats there. You will not escape the wrath of the Skaven. Not so easily, anyway. Wanna kill as many as we can over here. We're the cleanup crew that the Cast Dwarves have hired to deal with their problems. The problem is they hired Skaven. They're gonna regret that decision. Alright, we have won. The Skaven are victorious. Let's get Mount Grey Haxel up. Right. And here, okay, we get the good structure. I might have gotten a Worthless Barracks, which I do not need at this particular point in my life. And at this point, what can I recruit? Quite a lot. Let's get some Night Runners with slings. Throw the Skaven slaves away because who the fuck cares about Skaven slaves? Got two clan rats with spears. I'll need these against Emmerich. Yes, I know I am going to have to fight Emmerich in this campaign. That is inevitable. More inevitable than Thanos destroying half the universe. If only the Avengers would have realized that they were not going to win that fight. Alright, so I can get life as cheap, but I'm actually going to get Infiltrator two ranks and get, well, the elusive sneaky sick Kevin. There's no one more elusive than Tretch, so I think these guys are ruining his day. Okay. Chieftains, yes, yes. And we can also repair this. We have the money. I think I'm going to recruit another army over here of a master tough assassin, or I can get... No, that's not worth it. Okay. And we also get the commandment. Commandment wise, I want to get growth and construction cost for all territories. Now, what Drasif is going to do is he's in the he's Sentinels right now, most likely, and he's marching over there. We also get the Dripping Fangs. Oh, yes. Let's see about the Dripping Fangs and declare war on the Lamian Sisterhood. Get a bit of money. And we kill all of them for ourselves. Grimgore is not necessarily going to appreciate our little effort here. Karakazul is going to be our next victim. I don't necessarily want to head north. I know the overlords here will be wiped out by the Dripping Fangs. So making an alliance with the Dripping Fangs would be the smartest idea. What the heck is that? We have a f Undercity from Clan Vermin? What? Ah, cafe. 
You're gonna be next on the chopping block, make no mistake about that uh, situation. Rebellion is going to spark right now, though. Next turn. One more has been discovered. Who owns it, I wonder? Clan Vermins. Well, Clan Vermins better learn their place on the totem pole, because they ain't gonna last much longer. Let's get... Okay, like that. Now, we it isn't necessarily the most important thing in the world that we march over here, and I can set an ambush with... Oh. With him. And I am just going to put him on the border, so if Drazov decides to be stupid enough to march over there, he is going to encounter a very nasty surprise. An extremely nasty, very skaven surprise. And I'm also going to get more clan rats with spears and shields. And more of these guys, one more of these guys. The inevitable rebellion breaks up. Let's see if we can catch Drazov. We can, actually, and then we can't. This is going to be a lot tougher than you might think, because he's just going to use this against me, isn't he? Oh, yeah. Let's get to it, though. We have enough Skaven, so our Master Ambusher... Our Master Ambusher didn't quite achieve as much. My army is stronger than his, by the way. Damn, it is pretty crazy when you think of the fact that... Oh, still got the Doom Wheel. You know what? I am just gonna run around like a hellish chicken over here. Um, hmm. Let's spread these guys a bit out. These guys do have invisibility, so we're gonna use that. I'm not going to make the foolish assumption that I'm going to be able to dodge those explosions. What I'm going to do... Okay, let's try and see what we can do here. If I get hit by the fire glaives, it is GG. Though they're not going to be able to do it very quickly. Where is Drasov going to use it, I wonder? Um, I'm trying to see it. I think I can see it, certainly. He's not decided to use it yet. Are you guys going to shoot or are you just going to sit there and enjoy the show? Flaming attacks incoming. Chaos Dwarf with weapons. Oof, nasty. Okay, let's try and send these guys in. And if Drazov decides to use his weapons of mass destruction, and then, well, we're screwed, regardless. Oh, damn, the terrain here doesn't really suit me. Let's throw that over there. Now, one of the things I am concerned about here is the Kadai. Um, but then again, the Kadai are gone. <laughs> Oh, uh, yep, that was the first use of the nuclear weapon. <laughs> Not good. Yep, I do hate that. Okay, so I got about 90 seconds. Let's throw everything we got. We got 90 seconds to win this particular fight. And then if things get really nasty. Now, he's probably... I should pay attention on this part of the battlefield. I'm trying to run around like a chicken. Because that's what we do. Alright, Storm Vermin going in. They can beat the Chaos Dwarf Warriors. Okay, another unit. Okay, the Infernal Guard with Fire Glaives are not going to be beaten by a bunch of clan rats. <laughs> Suffice it to say. But the important thing is that I can stop them from shooting. Alright, throw the Death Runners into the fray. Let's get the uh, trench over there. Uh, throw them against the goblin laborers. Oh, it's a bunch of laborers. Turn around and fucking kill them. What, what do I care about? So, Drazov, how's your master plan going? You still have one use of that artillery. I recommend you use it as quickly as you possibly can. Okay. Okay, Drazov, there you are. Oh. Yeah, that hurt. That really did hurt. Keep this guy, these guys pinned. Well, that's the artillery. Unfortunately, you can't really avoid it. I mis misjudged that situation. Alright. 
Artillery is dealt with. Let's just kill Drazov over here. Don't know why he recruited goblins of all things. I care so little about Tretch that I don't really care if he lives or dies. This is gonna be a running theme though. Okay, move those guys over there. Alright, uh, shite. I need to keep these guys busy to try and... Oh, let's go send the Doom Wheel in. I don't care about them. I don't care about him, rather. Still have more clan rats. Throw them away there. Now, here's the thing. I do need to kill Drazif. If I don't kill Drazif, it's going to be a nasty affair. I will obviously replenish somewhat after this battle, but I'm kind I'm pretty sure I've lost a unit of Storm Vermin. That ain't going to be fun. But if you're hoping that you could just win around, uh, win here without casualties, well, I think you haven't been paying attention. How Skaven fight? <laughs> All right. Let's try and tar pit him. Okay. Let's throw some units there. Now these guys should hopefully be able to win over here, especially if we start sending in... Where is that Doom Wheel? I have to think. Alright, I'm going to send... Ah, damn it. I do want to kill these guys, they're probably the most dangerous unit in this entire army. Well, minus Drazov. Oh, get uh, them out of the fray before they end up dead. You can take some damage, but can you take all of the damage? Yeah, he's doing pretty well for himself. Tretch is about to die, of course. Inevitably, that does happen. Tretch is running away. Which also, of course, does happen. Run away! Okay, throw them in. They're holding their own for a moment, but they won't do so forever. Let's try and kill those blunderbusses. Drazif, Drazif, Drazif. You just won't leave it enough to die. Just be decent enough to die. <laughs> Quietly. Alright, army losses are kicking in. I think. I hope. I need to kill Drazov. That's the only concern. I'm gonna pull these guys out because... Um, they might actually win. Goblin laborers there. Tretch is joining the fray because of course the army is winning. Alright. Drazov is a pretty nasty fellow. And I do need to kill him in this particular battle. If I don't kill him in this battle, he is going to be a problem going forward. Throw everything we got against Drazov. The army losses there should be sufficient to eliminate them. Where are you going? Oh, uh, that's nasty. Come on. 
Oh, we got the unit there. Try and get them down. Damn it. All right. Pull back. That Castellan is still alive there. Actually, sent Tretch against the Castor Warriors. He just won't die. Damn it. <laughs> he refuses to die. Dra Drazov refuses death. Well, there's still the Infernal Guard, unfortunately, there that just also refused to die, so that's a bit of a shit situation. Come on, Razif. Now, the problem with those Infernal Guards is that they're actually anti-large, so they're going to be a bit of a problem. But not to worry, we got all Sir out. Surely. Razif is worth more than the entire army he brought. Uh, like in terms of balance of power. Oh no, you don't. There we go. I'm not gonna let him get away either. Get him. You guys can't kill a Castellan, can you? This is how you kill a Castellan. Just push gently until he can't get away. Push. <laughs> oh, not push that way. Damn it. Ah, he got away. Rip. But victory! Well, everyone survived, somewhat. And we want that replenishment. So Drazov is gone. We have prevailed for now. It will not last, I'm afraid. How do I defeat that Mega Morther? Drazov is perfectly willing to kill his own laborers to achieve victory against me, because he used that. Alright, so we gained rank 6, get more in Infiltrator, and also, let's get those skills, Tail Weapon, Fix Skinned. More replenishment, we will certainly need that. I'm kind of hoping to be able to out-resolve the situation. I am not eager to go against the Mega Mortar again. It's even worse than fighting Ikeclaw. That's why I'm fighting here. The worst version of Ikeclaw. You know, the one that... <laughs> the one ha that has an infinite number of nukes. Oh dear. That's the worst part. Should I unleash the plague victim? Let's unleash the Skaven Plague. Can I... I don't want... I obviously don't want to plague myself in this situation. Where is that Black Fortress? Okay. Oh, 
Well, that ain't great. Crushing defeat. Holy shit. Damn. It's like nothing I did mattered. <laughs> Then again, nothing that I do does matter in this context. All right, I'm gonna deploy these guys hidden here. Spread these guys around. They can, by the way, dodge. Like, if anything, your heroes should be able to dodge the explosion. Actually, put these guys uh, in the woods, and we're gonna deploy as close to the vulnerable to our new victim victims over here. And hopefully when, uh, without having to throw in uh, the Death Runners into that situation. Let them come. We're, they're dealing with Tretch and all of his might. I mean, Tretch and his worthless buddies. Now, I do need to keep these guys under control. I dealt with the blunderbuss, but I do need to keep those guys under control. So, we are going to just charge straight onward to glory and to victory. Let's throw what we can over here. Now, they're not going to advance, and I think he's not going to use the weapon until he starts advancing. Okay, let's get those guys. Oh! Uh, that's not good. That's not good. Oh god, oh god, oh shit. Whew, we made it. That's the first one. We got 90 seconds. Um, Alright, charging. You boys are going home to mama. This game doesn't even have moms. <laughs> I don't know. They do. I know. I don't want to get into that lore bit. You know, there's a lot of things YouTube will tolerate. If I start up talk, talking about how Skaven are born, I'm pretty certain YouTube will take down my entire channel. That is not... Uh, that is not, like, guaranteed, but it would probably happen. Enforcements are going to arrive at 57. All right, so at the f uh, at about the 30 second mark, they're um, going to use the, uh, that second rocket. I'm pretty sure that they'll use it here. Okay, pull these guys out. Seconds. And four. Where's the where's the Well they didn't use it instantly, so about it might be a bit delayed. Alright. They got wiped out. I'm not letting them fire if I can stop it. Reinforcements. Pull these guys out of the battlefield completely. Alright, Blunderbuss is there. Send our sneaky, stabby assassins to kill everything there. Right, 
try and deal with those guys. Okay. I see you. Poor Tratch. Fighting on his own. I wonder when the shoe will drop. Okay, pull that doom wheel out. Time to send these guys in, I think. Oh shit, that blunderbuss. out it's over Hope so. We do still have um They're gone, and they're gone.
shit felt like. Well, that was the hard part, beating Drazov's main army. Now we get the easy stuff, <laughs> taking the Black Fortress. Easy, quote unquote. I'll bring two full armies, should be enough to deal with it, I reckon. Like, so this army is just going to keep moving forward. Actually, how much movement point do I have? Like, I should use every last bit of it and just get a bunch of night runners with slings. Can't recruit more heroes, unfortunately. He's gonna get a room marcher, should have probably gotten that early. And the plague will st soon start affecting Drazov. Fuck! That's, uh. That's a damn missed opportunity. Trutch is pissed off that he didn't get the caravans of all of damn cafe. Shit. Actually, it would be probably a stupid idea to plague a province that I'm just about to take over. Don't tell the Skaven. It would seem that you're a cheat. You will pay for your follies. The Prince of Dra- What? Lost Ritual? Windshaper. Be Villain! Nothing you say can save your foul skin. We are- hmm? Know this! I have plotted your demise in a thousand ways. Great! Zord! One rank. Aye! What? Strategy beyond compare. Guess who Emmerich is going to declare war on uh, next? Ain't going to be the damned uh, Chaos Dwarves, that's for certain. Okay, just two clan rats uh, with spears and some one night runners. Pushing myself, yes, but I need the money. Oh, damn, I'll go bankrupt. Uh, hmm. Choices. Well, I could do this just cancel the global recruitment. And start moving here. Yeah, just recruit a bunch of clan rats. Right, save the money. Um, still not quite enough. That would help. Who's he at war with? Let's see if we can get a. We will defeat you. Agreed. That will keep me going for another turn. Problem is, if I don't expand in the next turn, it's gonna be a rough ride. <laughs> okay.
I'll see what options there are over here. Maybe I can attack an army outside of the Black Fortress so I don't have to deal the defenses inside. If I could auto-resolve that, yes, that would be excellent. Think to outsneak me. Oh, the Lamians just saved my ass. No joke. Maybe I should declare war on Azak for a bit more money. I wouldn't be concerned about... Well, Scarsnake has decided to go on full on ahead. Um... Now, if I move him here, should be able to get his support. Damn, there's another... Oh. Damn. Tell you what. It would be a difficult battle. Let's get rid of this structure. That will keep me going for a bit more. Um... Speak up, or I'll take what? <laughs> These guys are losing? Are you fucking kidding me? Okay, uh, let's get that non aggression pact. That will keep me going for a bit more. Where are we going to face a rebellion? No. <laughs> yep. Tretch sucks. And maybe I should upgrade this, can I? No. It's the same damn cost. Both of them. We have a problem, Houston. Anyway, I forgot to give Emmerich the plague. How many armies is Drazov gonna recruit? 20? Seems like it. I might even get a rebellion at the Darkhold. Oh yeah, I would. Pity I wasn't able to take advantage of those damn caravans, but such as it is. There will be more. I'm not too concerned about that. Okay. Let me get a bit of growth. Oh. Okay, I got six turns. Let's get that play going. So, funny thing about Skaven Plagues, just one thing you guys should know about them. Let's go for that. Easy win, easy life. Some money. I do freaking hate that Mega Mortar. <laughs> I do. Okay. It is gonna make my life difficult, isn't it? Time to unleash our armies. Yep. Well, at least they don't have any more funds, uh, fun stuff to unleash against us. With the exception of the Mega Mortar, which, of course, they will unleash on us. Um, okay, so if we don't spend... Because remember, I'll be able to get some food here by winning. Yep. Yeah. Let's go for it. The final battle between Tretch and Drazif. Who is going to prevail, gentlemen? Well, I'll tell you one thing that's for certain, I can win this battle quickly enough that it may not necessarily even be important for me to... Um... Okay, can I deploy over here somehow? Come on, give me the ability. Damn you. Nope. Okay, okay, so he's decided to try and deploy there. 
And I'm going to take the actually good units, spread them around. Now, I can't defeat the army that's coming. That's... Uh, well, I could. That's not the concern. It might even be better, but I would still have to find multiple battles. So, oh, the Dreadquake. Oh. Okay, that's the first use. Let's throw our hero squad against our tra uh, on our victims. We do have about two minutes. Well, since the Mega Mortar's first use ability has been wasted, let's try and kill these guys before their reinforcements arrive. That way. And here I thought it would be crushing defeat. They're not getting away. Not so fast. Pity about the food, but... Actually, yeah, pit... Oh. What the hell is that? Well, there's the Mega Mortar. Avoided much of the damage. I could fight these armies. In all honesty. So maybe it would be a good idea for me to weaken these armies over here. My hit squad is going in for the kill. Ah, uh, he's metal, I see. I was wondering what the hell was going on there. Alright, how much do we have? One minute and one minute. Okay. Oh, shit. Yep. Well. We're just gonna have to wait for those reinforcements. I'm gonna move all of my guys over here. I do actually have quite a few melee units in this situation. Have they done it? Come on, tell me you can kill at least one guy. Seriously. You guys are pretty pathetic. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, got, got it. That was it. That's the Mega Mortar, isn't it? All right, throwing the clan rats into the fray there. Damn, damn! Like, it's like he's only recruited damned metal mages. It's like son of a. Oh. Okay. Here comes the real army. <laughs> For them a leadership benefit before we go in, send the Doom Wheel to actually be useful for once. Okay, send those Storm Vermin uh, and Clan Rats over there. Blob them up real nicely. Try and get those blunderbusses. And I think the mortars have sung their last song. Okay, send the clan rats to engage there. Throw everything we got. It is going well. Not quite as well as I would have liked, but all the same. Okay, let's stop the... Re uh, okay, guard mode is not on. Oh, 
Throwing against them. Here they go. The slingers are the better option most of the time, but the melee ability of the regular knife runners is just not something to sneeze at either. What if you guys didn't have guard mode? Right. Wow. Holy shit. These guys are getting hammered. Well, it's cast or four years, what they expect. Hit them hard, hit them fast. Take these guys out. Their leadership is cracking. Soon enough, it will break completely. Send the hit squad after their lord. Send the hit squad after their lord. We don't got time to waste dick around here. Kill him, kill him. Come on. Ah, shit. Pretty close, all the same. And even if I can't... Uh, yeah, I'm scaving our shit as chasing stuff. Now, it's likely that this army here will try and take uh, take me out next turn. I'm not going to take uh, attrition while I'm besieging this. I'm going to give him the fell blade. <laughs> that weapon used uh, against the vampire counts. I have... Admiral of the fleet. I think I shouldn't be too concerned. Like, the economy I have right now is quite solid and it should become better. Alright, 
So now, I'm just gonna force March's army there to the north, sack the settlement, then occupy it, and put the tier free capital over here as a monument to Drasov's failure. <laughs> Seriously, if you can't defeat Dredge, you're nothing. And then, um, well, get the caravan as well. Lovely. It'll be good not having to deal with damn Draza for a change. People are happy. People are coming to the castle. Tell me I cannot resolve it. I am not looking forward to assaulting this element on its own. Oh, yes. Ooh. Thank you. The replenishment would be nice. It would be the instant rebellion. Right. We have earned ourselves a new home. The Skaven stand triumphant. None can stop the might of Tretch Craven Hill. Now, over here, growth buildings would be nice, but so would an engineer, gentlemen. Shadow. Now, Eshen. Hmm. Oh shit. <sighs> shit! Damn it. I forgot about the movement aspect. Well, that was stupid of me. I should have just sacked the settlement with uh, with him. Didn't concern that I didn't have enough movement there. Um, yeah, stupidity pays. Alright, so Rebellion is going to spark immediately after. But that's good. We want the Rebellion. Get training. And what I am going to do over here is I'm going to... How is Emmerich doing? Is he enjoying the plague that I've unleashed on him? Probably not. Okay. The Legion of Asgore will stand triumphant. <laughs> yes, that is fun. Oh well, I paid the price of my mistakes. Maybe a couple of Skaven slaves would help out the garrison here. It is a tier free garrison though, so whatever caravan starts showing up, never assume you're going to be able to... Ooh, that is nice! We get the second chance and money. We need money. We desperately need money. And I think that's the rebel faction. So, Trechy, you know what you need to do. Food, experience, food. You also, by the way, when you're attack, when you're trying to deal with the caravan, you need to attack the caravan directly, or else you're not gonna get the money. The post battle loot is determined by the army you've decided to attack. I want to get rid of this. I'm not happy with it. Clan vermin. Let's get the Warwick engineer. Where should I put him, though? I know. <laughs> I know exactly where I should put them. Well, that Doom Wheel certainly took a lot of damage. But we are now rich and mighty. We have conquered the world. Well, in genuine honesty, we have prevailed against the hard bark. Here's, uh, ah, that caravan was going to pig barter, interestingly. Wait, you're still alive? How the fuck are you still alive? Should I help these guys? Skaven factions, I'll have to decide on that. 
Skaven factions, minor Skaven factions, don't necessarily make the best allies, but I need all the damn allies I can get. Yeah, Who's yeah, winning here? Get to the point. Well, Forgrim. Because, of course, Forgrim would win that particular fight. Shocking. Gonna need artillery. So, I think over here I'll recruit an army among Grey Hag. Then move it here to recruit some artillery from this element. Uh, hero capacity, obviously, I need to transfer over some heroes, do all that kind of good stuff. We do get the regiment renowned clan rats, which I think I'm gonna take on Tretch. And next up, we invade Emmerich. I could crush you beneath my because we can't let them build up. I think they had gets. I mean, you do get a certain passive amount of experience per turn. But anyway. Quasim signing out. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and enable notifications, and stay tuned for more. That was brutal.